What a game here at uh, whoever would have thought that West Liberty would win a game in the 60s. And if you would have told me we were going to, we were going to shoot 6 of 24 from 3 and 9 of 19 from the free throw line and beat this caliber of a team, I would have said they're nuts. But uh, we're really proud of our guys. This is one of the proudest I've been um, in my coaching career thus far. These guys just battled. They fought. And, and they never gave up. And they just kept chipping away. And um, we found a way to win. And I think that's what good teams do is find a way to win. Uh, Coach, talk about your defense here. The last five minutes, you held a team with Andrew Cisco that was one field goal in the last five and a half minutes. Yeah, I think two guys in particular, and Marlon Moore and Victor, um, those two guys were, were spectacular. And it's kind of pick your poison with that group. It's are you going to double down and leave the shooters on the perimeter, or are you going to play him 1v1 in the post? And we elected to go 1v1 in the post, and I thought both those guys had a tremendous effort and gave us a big lift. Uh, Malik. Um, probably once you're up in the stat sheet, I thought the play of the game was <coughs> you missed your second free throw there late, and somehow you got to the out of, out, to the baseline and you knocked the rebound off of the guy that made the three attempts. How did you get there from there? Uh, it felt short coming off my hand, honestly, and I'm usually, I feel like I would say I'm usually a good free throw shooter, so I kind of knew where it was coming off, and I knew I had to make the play, though, because it's a big game, and we need every. 50-50 ball. We got to win those. Yeah. Well, what were your impressions of uh, Damon as a team compared to a lot of the Mountain East Conference teams that you play with a different pace? Well, Damon is definitely a slow it down team. As you can see, we scored in the 60s, and uh, we had to grind it out. We had to play better defense, and because uh, they were trying to make it a half court game with us. You know what I mean? So once we buckled down on defense and got a stop. And uh, Shisco is a great player. Like he, he draws a lot of attention, and our big stepped up and did a good job on him tonight. And one last question: uh, coming, you know, winning a 62-61 game. You know, what what does that give you in terms of confidence when you're in a half court defense game? That uh, West Liberty doesn't have a reputation for playing defense. Yeah, uh, this group I would say is probably one of the best defensive groups I played in since I've been here, and uh, it's just. A testament to guys wanting to sit down and actually get a stop, wanting to get a stop, and uh, honestly, it's just, it's just great experience for us. You know, coach always says great teams find a way to win close games, and we didn't shoot it too well. We didn't shoot it from the uh, free throw line too well, so uh, we found a way to win. Got to make the winning plays. Amen. Uh, great one, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Thank you.